let's get one thing straight. I'm not. Is that alright? It's a very slow burner. Um, what you always call um, asexual. Um, it's like being gay, uh, but not as fashionable. <laughs> Basically, it means that uh, I like my partners how I like my tea. Uh, warm, sweet, and uh, nowhere near my trousers. <laughs> no, basically, no, uh, so I'm asexual, I'm not interested in sex, don't have sex at all. People are a bit mean to me about it though, people are a bit mean to me about it. They think just because I'm asexual, I must be really lazy. I'm not lazy, it's like I literally could not be fucked. <laughs> but no, people do find me uh, a bit weird. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest, uh, sometimes I go on Pornhub just to uh, admire the wallpaper. <laughs> sometimes I go to orgies uh, just for the free food. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes I buy condoms because they're cheaper than socks. <laughs> oh, but anyway, uh, but no, people put me to me, they say, to, you know, maybe, maybe you're asexual because you've not met the right person yet. Maybe you've not met the right person yet. And you know what? Fair enough. But there's a flip side to that logic. Uh, so I can say to you, um, are you a murderer? <laughs> No, well, maybe you've not met the right person yet. <laughs> well, the thing is, though, I, I've had relationships, I've had relationships, I did have a girlfriend at one point, uh, it was a bit weird though, no, she would say very weird things to me, she'd say things like, um, Ooh, tell me a dirty secret, yeah, tell me a dirty secret. Uh, so I'd lean in and whisper in her ear, Tony Blair's a war criminal. <laughs> Uh, so she'd say very, very weird things to me. She'd say things like, um, oh, tie me down to the bed and do whatever you want with me. Uh, so after I strapped her in, I then left the room and finished building my Lego TARDIS. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great evening. <laughs> no, she'd say things like, uh, she'd say things like uh, oh, punish me, punish me, but a naughty girl, punish me, go on, punish me. Uh, so I sit her down and uh, make her watch The Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Why is it still going on? It's not very good. <laughs> One time she, uh, she looked at me across the table, she, across the table, she went to her, go on, smack that bottom, smack that bottom, go on, smack it, smack that bottom. And I went to her, darling, I'm trying, but the ketchup won't come out. <laughs> <laughs> now, the shame things broke up between us, I mean, I was very good in bed. See, I'm, I'm not a little spoon or a big spoon, uh, I'm all a spork. Uh, initially curvaceous, but of a hidden prick. <laughs> Uh, but, no, but there is uh, one thing I have learnt, you know, across uh, you know, relationships and sex. And one thing I have learnt is that, uh, you know, let's remember, having a penis is exactly uh, like having a knife. You know, if you stick it in a toaster, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's get we doing this. So let's get talking about sex and relationships. You know, as, as my granddad's told me on his deathbed, uh, at first you don't succeed, uh, then skydiving is not for you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's all I've got. <laughs>